Hi, Madeline. This is a video for you today on May 28th. We're working on our new song, Allegretto, that first phrase, and then we're going to work on some metronome practice, how to use a metronome in your practice for a perpetual motion. Hopefully this video will really help you with that. So first thing to work on with Allegretto is the short, short, long with the accent bowing. So staccato, staccato, accent. Staccato, staccato. So practice just that bowing on open D, making sure you're leaning into this finger, pointer finger, all the weight from your arm going right in at the start of the note, and then it kind of fades as you draw your bow, okay? And I'm going to sing it so we can practice singing the notes and fingering it, and then I'll play it for you. So we're starting, I'm gonna use a metronome that I have on Abby's phone here. This is the Total Energy app that I told you about, and it has a really nice tuner and a uh, metronome app on it. So, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna go right around 70. That's the good speed that I'm feeling for this. And we're gonna start on beat four. So I'm gonna practice showing you how to use a metronome to practice in general. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little louder so you can hear it on the video, hopefully. Okay. So the video, you should be able to feel the beat. Just practice moving with the beat. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, once you're feeling that beat, then what we're gonna do is come in on beat four, because there's a pickup note on this. You can clap along, you can figure along, you can sing along. I'm not actually going to play. I'm going to figure and sing. Ready? One, two, three. D, E, F, F, A, G, G, B, A, A, G, F, F, A, G, G, F, E, E, G, F, F, E, D. That's the end of the first phrase, okay? I call that the A part maybe the bread, just work on memorizing that, figure it, sing it, air bow it, okay? I would do that five times a day, just that part, okay? I'll do it one more time on the video, then you can just rewind and replay it, ready? One, two, three, D, E, F, F, A, G, G, B, A, A, G, F, F, A, G, G, F, E, E, G, F, F, E, D. Okay, turn off the metronome and then just double check that you're using fourth finger when it says in your book to use four. You're using open A when it says in your book to use open. It's those two things. All right, so let's go back if you've worked on Allegretto a good five times, either singing it, air bowing it, fingering it, or maybe even playing it, then I would like you to uh, keep watching the video. Otherwise, stop, rewind, and keep working on that. Also, find a good recording of Allegretto to listen to the whole song. I'm not going to record it on here today, but I'm sure you can find a good recording of that song to listen to the whole thing. You'll notice that part will come back with a little bit of changes in it, okay? Now, for perpetual motion, I'm going to keep the metronome at 70. That's what it was at for Allegretto. Uh, we're going to practice perpetual motion with the metronome at 70, just with the single notes, not with the doubles. And I'm gonna do it for the sake of playing on the D string, I'm gonna do it on the D string, okay? First, I'm gonna practice singing. So we're really listening to the beat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, maybe air bow. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice moving your bow in TTs while you are counting. One, two, three, four. T, 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 four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and see if you can do five measures. So you're counting to four, five times like that with your metronome, okay? Then when that feels good, you can turn your bow around. So it's under here, my 
elbow upside down and we're gonna figure the notes for perpetual motion with the metronome. Ready? One, two, three, four. D, E, F, F, E, F, G, G, F, G, A, F, G, E, A, A, D, E, F, F, E, F, G, G, F, G, A, F, G, E, D, D. Then we're going on. So that was just the A part that I did. But you can do them in sections like that. Just do the B part, just do the A part, just do the C part. Then you can work on putting it together. I wouldn't try it on your violin until you're able to do just the bow by itself, just the fingers by itself. Maybe doing the bow and the fingers together, but not on the violin, and then you can put it together, okay? Hopefully these are some good strategies that help, and you have a great practice week. Good work. Bye.